for all the Toyota lovers out there and any 4x4 enthusiast, check out this beast of an 80 series. I'm pretty sure that's an 80 series. Heavily modified. Long, long, long travel. Shock absorbers in there. It's wild. It's incredible. It's so big. Konnichiwa and welcome to Grizzly and Bear Overland. Lee and I, Steffi, have been traveling full time in our Land Rover Defender and four wheel camper for about three years. We are currently in Hokkaido, north of Japan. In this episode, we explore the small island of Rishiri. We're going shopping for a little coming up adventure. Two minute pasta, powder milk, instant coffee. Back at the camper, I will pack some food for our coming up adventure. Starting with tea and instant coffee, store in a reusable Ziploc bag. Then I will prep breakfast. We are planning a three days trip, so I'm making six porridge mixes in disposable Ziploc bags. This porridge only requires to add boiling water, stir, wait a little bit and enjoy. In each bag I put half a cup of instant oat, one tablespoon of chia seeds, one teaspoon of brown sugar, because I couldn't find any sultanas, one tablespoon of powdered milk for the creaminess, one teaspoon of cinnamon for the taste, few almonds for the crunchiness. And there you have it, six delicious, easy and nutritious breakfasts. Steffi was an absolute champion last night. I was organizing some other things and Steffi was preparing all of this. We are gonna go hiking for three days maybe. When hiking and camping, don't forget headlamp, wipes, and a first aid kit. Passports and money in a waterproof bag. I haven't worn this hat since Afghanistan. Representing Decathlon, the good old French brand. Hiker's shoelace knot. So one, one, two, and then one, two. And then through there. Wow, so that'll never come undone. Packed up and ready to go. We're gonna leave Grizzly and Bear behind and we're gonna take the ferry. It's sort of exciting and a bit weird. We're in a paid car park. We think it's only $7 a day, I hope so. We plan three days. We're gonna miss the ferry, we're gonna go. Come on, Frenchie, we're gonna be late. See you again. We're lucky, it's sunny today. This is where we're going, to the top here. One way. Arigato. Thank you. Arigato. That is one weapon of a land cruiser. <laughs> Very cool. Are we bush bashing already? All right. We only left the town two seconds ago. Actually really protected in here from the howling wind that we were experiencing earlier. What do you got going on for lunch, Steffi? Crackers with omelette and salami, I guess. <laughs> I think it's like salami to me. It's not a French sausage sauce. Since we bought this water filter, we've been using it quite a lot. I would have to say I'm very happy with it. It's super fast, super efficient to use. Fill up from anywhere, push down. You just sort of lean your body weight on it. it. Takes about 10 seconds, I would say, to filter 750 milliliters of water. I have to disagree. I think it's more like 20 to 30 seconds. The only downside could be for hiking, such as we're doing at the moment, is it is heavy. 
Lunch is done and dusted. We, <laughs> we just realized we're still at the same altitude we were at 10 kilometers ago because we've been walking up and down into valleys. So now the uphill push begins. At this point, we hiked about six hours and we're at 1,200 meters altitude. We don't have to summit today, what do you reckon? If there's a shelter, we take it. What do we got? <laughs> Mountain hut. I reckon that's gonna be us for the night. Maybe not even ne any need for the tent. Now, the big question, is it open? Whoa. Oh. <laughs> no way. Oh, that's so good. Check it out. Shoes off, please. This is Japan, yes. You even brought your crocs all the way up the side of the mountain. Oh yeah. We're off on a little mini mission with our uh, mini backpacks, which just clip off the top of our hiking, trekking packs. We're gonna look for water. We do have enough for drinking and for cooking tonight, but Steffi prepared some lovely little porridges for breakfast and we may not have enough water to cook them. Maps me shows there being a river or a stream. Only one kilometer away. If that's no good, we go for the dirty snow. Bit of a challenge, something different. So that nice whiter patch, it's <laughs> still dirty, of snow in the middle there. I'm gonna fill up my little plastic bag that I've got. We'll take it back. <laughs> Here we go. Ready? <laughs> Look at the shopping bag full of snow. <laughs> Show you... me? Nah, you probably don't wanna see it. It's a bit brown. Let's have a look. Look at that. It's not even dirty. 50-50. It's organic. <laughs> then we'll melt it with the jet boil. The snow is now melted. Melted, not boiled, because I didn't want to waste all the gas. Then we'll pour that fluid, that water, into the grail water filter. Oh yeah, it's pretty murky water. Oh yeah. Oh, not sure about that. <laughs> How often do you change the filter? Yeah, this this filter is good for 250 litres. Yeah, that's all right. It's going to be bacteria free. You know what? It might even be clear. All right, she's going to look pretty good. Oh, wow. That's pretty bloody clear. <gasps> wow. <laughs> What are you complaining about, Frenchie? Look at that. That's crystal. Wow. It smells like Afghanistan. <laughs> yeah, it would do. That's the last time we used them, was it? I think so. Afghanistan. Yeah, that was a, that's a long time ago. <laughs> I'm over here still melting snow, stirring with a chopstick. <laughs> and Steffi's preparing the bedroom. Magnificent sunset over Rebun, Rebun Island. I've just woken up and I think we've mentioned a few times now how awesome it is in Japan, especially for us early risers, that the sun comes up extremely early here. So it's now 20 to 4 and that's the sun above the horizon. Loosen up the shoulders a little bit. Shoulders are a bit sore but that's alright. It's actually pretty light. I reckon 15 kilos is my guesstimation. But as we learned in another video... So that's 12. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My estimation is not always that good. Day number two. Half we go. That's where we are right now. We will hike to the summit and then come back down again. Cut across here. Down to there. And all the way down. Maybe, if we're lucky, find an onsen. What's the story there? I'm pretty sure not many people have seen a toilet like that. It's a little toilet seat and it's got a net. Very strict rules on this mountain. It's pack it out. And you are supposed to buy some hopefully very sealable bags at the convenience stores or information center, which you then place in the net, do your business, seal it very well. <laughs> hopefully put it in your backpack and take it with you to be disposed in a bin later it's a lot of detail come on 
Too much detail? All right, let's go. Gorilla grip tripod. That thing's handy. All right, you ready? Within a hundred meters, I would say. Congratulations, Frenchie. That's a bloody good effort. 1721, is it? There you go. It was simply incredible to have a 360 view of the ocean. We know what to do now at the shrine. So we'll drop our little offering in the box there, the coin. <laughs> Did you miss the box? Clap two times. We bow two times. Clap again. Very lucky we got up here to completely blue skies, but these volcanoes, these mountains, seem to get these cloud domes around them like we saw yesterday coming in on the ferry. It's starting to form and it's incredible. Those clouds are literally 10 meters above our heads. It's a really, really unique, cool thing to be witnessing. We're out of here, we're on the summit right now and we're gonna descend all the way. Probably gonna take us four to five hours. On terrain like this, it generally takes almost as long to go down as what it took to come up because you have to be super careful, super slow. Definitely more dangerous to hike down in loose terrain than what it is to hike up. Take your time, use your walking poles and really pay attention to your feet placement. Sticks are good, we were just commenting then. In this sort of terrain though, they're not much good for anything. We've been throwing them ahead and then picking them up when we climb or crawl down <laughs> a difficult area. And really unstable ground. <sighs> Seems like a fresh avalanche. This really Very took scary. everything out of me. This part of the trail was very scary and dangerous. A recent landslide had wiped out a section of the path. We are now facing another portion with icy and compact snow. Without appropriate equipment such as rope, crampons, axe and helmets. We simply couldn't take the risk. Could you imagine the catastrophic outcome if one foot slipped with nothing to stop us from sliding on the steep glacier for hundreds of meters to the cliffs below? We have to turn back now. We're back at the junction now. We're gonna backtrack and things have got really wild. <laughs> This is mental. We gotta get down. Almost back to the ferry terminal. No idea of ferry schedules, so we don't know if we'll be able to catch a ferry to the next island of Rebun. Pretty awesome to think that only five hours ago we were standing on top of Mount Rashiri up there. We are on our way back to mainland. The only ferry is back to mainland. We summited, that was uh, the most important. It was really nice. A very, very nice. nice couple yep. of days of hiking. It was a bit challenging, it was really steep. We were so excited and happy to see Bear again. We've got a lot of stuff to do, very busy and exciting. Several weeks ahead with some Big news, but no big news just yet. No. Later. Keep it a secret. <laughs>